There has never been a better time to start cycling to work. Now, we know that it's not an option for all of you, but if you can, there is time to be saved and there's also money to be saved as well. Here's how to get started with a short commute. If you've got a short commute across town, then grabbing your bike is a great way to save time and money. Here are our eight top tips for doing just that. Seeing as this is just a short commute, any bike will do. You can really grab that old one out of the shed or hit the classifieds to find something cheap in your local area. Just remember that whatever you take out of the shed or buy, you do need to make sure that it is safe to ride on the road. So check the gears, check the brakes and check the tires. Now, given the choice, we would choose something like a town bike with a nice upright position. It's gonna be comfy and it's gonna allow you to scan the road ahead really easily. Bonus points if you get mud guards and rack mounts. That'll allow you to attach a pannier uh, and it will allow you to transport heavier loads and even opens up your bike to shopping trips. Now, this is a summer's day in the UK and uh, well, it might be dry now, it wasn't half an hour ago and it probably won't be in half an hour's time. That said, in the Netherlands, it does rain quite a lot there too, and they do far more commuting miles than us. A good waterproof jacket will really, really help. You can get one with a hood, that will keep your head and hair dry, but you do need to make sure that you can still turn your head and see both sides so that you still have your vision either side of you. Now, if you get something that's nice and casual, it will fit in down the pub when you go for a post-work shandy. Now the height of fashion is undoubtedly these waterproof over trousers. They might look ridiculous, but they do keep your legs, ankles, and most of your feet dry too. And staying dry obviously looks far, far better. That said, there are parts of the UK that are actually surprisingly dry. And if it really is raining outside, you can always take the bus. Now, a good set of lights we would highly recommend. During the day, they add to your visibility. In the evenings, even though it's light out now, they really add to your visibility. And in the winter, they're a legal requirement. If you're doing a short commute through town and it's lit, then you only need something to be seen by. So you don't have to spend too much money here. When riding to work, it can be very tempting to simply ride on the roads that you would drive on. But the more direct back roads can also be quieter and more pleasant, while also being potentially safer. To figure out a route, you can use apps like Komoot, Strava, or even Google Maps has a cycle feature. Once you've figured out a route, don't be afraid to chop and change it, especially if you find that a junction is a bit of a problem or you think you've spotted a faster way. Now, infrastructure for cyclists is improving all the time. And if you're passing some of it, feel free to use it if it fits in with your route, but don't feel obliged to use it. You have every right to be on the road. For short commutes, some, myself included, can cycle in what we're going to wear all day. But for some of you, that's not going to work. Some of you have to wear uniforms or simply you have to wear clothes that are not gonna be practical on the bike. A great tip here is to either take a backpack with your work clothes and cycle in casual clothing or leave that backpack with extra clothes at work. If you take a large hold all full of clothes in on a Monday morning and then take it home on a Friday afternoon for washing, then this will leave you with a lighter load for the rest of the week. We have a great guide to the best cycle commuting clothing. Uh, that's down in the description below, but realistically, you've probably already got suitable stuff. Now, regardless of what you're going to be riding in, keeping some spares at work is a great way to guard against those rainy days. Keeping a spare pair of shoes, some socks, maybe even some underwear, means that if you do get drenched on the way in, you've got a dry set. A toilet bag with your essentials, some deodorant, and even a small towel is a great way to further weatherproof yourself. 
They can be used in the loos as well, so if your workplace doesn't have showers, you're not going to be caught out. If you're riding in at an easy pace, you might not even need this. As you ride more and more, you might even get faster too. If you do get a bit hot, then a quick tip is to cool down a bit before getting changed. You can do this by removing your jacket before you walk in, or you can take a breather whilst you lock up your bike. Speaking of which, if you've got to leave your bike outside, then unfortunately you'll need to secure it. A good quality lock is worth investing in. You can either take it with you, mounting it on your bike frame, or pop it in a rucksack. Alternatively, if you're leaving your bike in the same spot each day, then you may be able to leave the lock at work. It'll save you lugging it around and give you easy access when you need it. Like a car, your bike needs a quick clean every now and again. To do this, you can just use normal dish soap for the frame, but for the gears and the chain, you will need something a bit stronger. A proper degreaser that you can spray on is great. It allows you to spray it on, leave it for a bit to work its magic, you scrub it a bit, and then you rinse it off. It's really, really simple. Just remember that afterwards, you will need to reapply some oil to the chain. Doing this every few weeks will help to prevent wear, but eventually some important parts will need replacing. That will be the tires, the brake pads, and eventually the chain. But thankfully, you'll have saved so much money on rail fares and bus tickets that you'll be amazed at how cheap it all is. So there you have our eight best tips for making cycle commuting as easy as possible. Where do you go from here? Well, we've got a load of great commuter advice and we'll leave a list of those articles down in the description below. If you want to power up your commute, then e-bikes are the way to go. Our sister site, eBike Tips, has a range of great advice, including an article listing the best entry-level commuters on the market. It includes the one I've been using today. Now, if you have any questions, no matter how trivial you think they are, please leave them in the comments below. We'll do our best to answer. If you like this, then click that little like button and subscribe for more of this stuff. Cheers.